Hi ladies, it's Trisha and I'm a little shabby chic on YouTube and today I just want to share with you a project that I've been working on. So the project I've been working on is a dresser that I found in a secondhand shop and I paid $3.99 for it. Okay, it's a little bit more than shabby chic actually it's a lot shabby chic a bit more than I normally do and the paper line that I used is um, Sweet Nothings by Kaiser Craft okay so let me just move this out of the way and I'm doing this by hand today so this is a paper line which I know most of you have seen but I'll just quickly flick through it so I did have a couple of sheets of the 12 by 12 as well and I used a couple of sheets of the 6.5 by 6.5 okay okay right so this is the back of the dresser and the reason I want to show you this is because it has such a cute cherub on. How cute is that? So I didn't do, um, like I've put lace and that on the front, but I didn't bring it right round the back because I wanted to keep this image showing. And if I'd have put lace round the back, it would have covered some of it. It's just so gorgeous. I had to put some on the back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to turn it around to the side and on both sides I use this rose print which I absolutely love. This is my favourite paper. Absolute favourite. So as you see I've put lace at the top, uh, bottom and the top and if I'd have carried that onto the back you'd see that it would have covered up the, the face of this cherub. So that's why I didn't carry it round to the back. Okay, so I'm going to just turn this around. I hope this doesn't make you dizzy. Okay, let me see if I can get... And I've put material behind because um, I have shelves on my desk and they are a mess, a real mess. So I don't want you to be focusing on the mess rather than um, the project. Okay, so this is the overall project. Okay, so now I will show you it in detail. I'm sorry if I sound funny, but I do have a cold, so I apologise. Like everyone else, everyone's got a cold at the moment, but here goes. So at the top, I just used some wild orchid flowers, and I used blues, creams, and pinks. I also added some pearls in between. And I use this really cute cameo, which has a flower center. Like this. And I did glimmer mist the flowers, which I think you can just slightly see. Okay. And I also added a couple of leaves and a couple of um, crystal stems as well. So then here I used two, two laces, this lace, and then I just topped it with this trim, leaf trim. And each section I did actually add some of the paper. How cute is that? Cherubs galore. They are so cute. And then I use this, um, you have to excuse my nails, they're not painted. <laughs> um, trim down the sides and along. I did actually cut the leaf trim into little sections and put it down here. And then on the doors, I just use some bead trim 
and then put some pearls on each corner. I did actually scratch it here with my glue gun, but never mind. And again, inside, I put some of the paper, which has a bird carrying a letter. And it's so cute paper. Okay. And then in the drawers, I did actually line them with the paper as well. It's not quite dry yet. <laughs> And I just put a pearl in each corner of the drawer. And again, I used the same two laces down at the bottom. So, it's very shabby chic. It's a bit more than I'd normally do, but there were so many colours in the paper that I wanted to add as much much colour as possible hang on let me just shut the doors okay but I am really happy with how, how it turned out and it's actually surprisingly quite spacious because the other day I, I found these um, small glass bottles full of bead at the pound shop. Um, one moment, I'll just get the package. I found these at the pound shop. So they've got um, 10 bottles of beads for a pound. Bargain. And actually I've got two sets in here. So I can actually um, put three in a row in here. Um, so I think I'm going to fill it up with those until I decide what I'm going to do with the beads because obviously I bought them for the glass bottles but um, perfect storage for the beads. <laughs> perfect. Um, I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out and whether I was going to like it with all the different colours but I I think I'm really quite happy with how it turned out um, but I'm sure you ladies will let me know <laughs> um, and thank you for watching I hope you like it please leave a comment and I'll speak to you all soon bye for now